I ran into a problem. I uh, found other people had posted videos with the same problem where you got the vehicle running, your music's going, and you turn the key to accessory and your stereo keeps running, which is all good. Um, but then when you go to start the vehicle, the radio turns off and everything has to start over. Right now I'm playing CD, not that big a deal, but when I'm listening to Bluetooth audio, it disconnects the Bluetooth from the phone. I have to go back and reconnect it, start the music back over, uh, and that's a pain. So there's some other videos I found. Um, they didn't quite work for me, and I'm gonna show you what I did. All right, I'm working on a 2002 Nissan Frontier Crew Cab. Uh, money ride, loving it. Um, in this uh, wiring diagram, the yellow is the always on uh, power that runs to your stereo. Even when the vehicle's off, you got 12 volts through there. And you can might be able to tell that uh, yellow wire is a little bit thicker. Um, and uh, a little bit more power goes through there. Uh, and then the uh, red wire, so there's the yellow wire. Over here, the, this red wire, this is the accessory wire. Uh, that's the one that's wired to the ignition, and what it does, from what I can tell, um, when you put the key on the accessory position, or on position, it puts power to this, which, uh, from what I can tell, flips a relay inside the stereo, telling it to turn on. Uh, the problem is, when you flip your key from accessory to start, or accessory or on to start, the vehicle cuts the power to the accessories to give your vehicle more power to start. Um, so what I've done here um, is uh, I wired a capacitor, uh, two capacitors actually, uh, from the always on power uh, going into the non-stripe side of the capacitor uh, and then the stripe or negative side actually going over here to the accessory. Um, so you have the voltage coming in here going to the stereo for the accessory um, but you also have these capacitors because the way the capacitors are the voltage does not travel backwards um, and I, I tried running the capacitor just on this accessory side but there just wasn't enough um, push current I'm not sure if I'm using the right term there uh, to actually charge the capacitor to keep the thing running um, so I wired it up this way and everything works. I'm going to stick it back in the dash here and show you what I came out with. Um, before I do, let me show you. I'm going to tilt this here so you can see the caps. Um, these are caps I just had uh, laying around. They're 16 volt, uh, 3300 microfarads. Um, the recommendation I read was 16 volts a good voltage. You don't want anything lower. Um, and I think higher I found a hard time finding enough microfarads, which is the, the uh, storage length from what I can tell. So uh, let's put this back together and see what it does. All right, so we got here, the vehicle's running, uh, obviously in the uh, on position. Everything's working good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up. Uh, and I'm gonna turn it to the accessory position. Okay, and that's normal. Uh, you would normally get that. Now the trick comes when I go to start the vehicle, now I'm gonna turn the music back up so you can hear that it does not skip out. Still going. Still going. All right, now uh, on the other side, when I, I'm in the accessory here, and when I turn the key off, it goes for about mm, four seconds. All right, and that's it. So here I put the key back in. I just got into my car. I got the radio turned on, but I'm not ready to start it yet. Everything's going like I want. But I'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle. And the stereo stays just like it is. Turn it off. Pull the key, a couple seconds go by, and then it turns off. Everything's great. Just thought I'd share with you because this was something helpful for me that I did not find in other videos. Hopefully, I'm not going to blow anything up. Um, if you think so, go ahead and uh, comment just so I know. But I think it's going to work. Uh, up top there, by the way, I got some, uh, I'll go ahead and show you. 
I rewired, uh, and I'll show you here a quick clip of uh, some outlets I put in there. Okay, like I said, uh, some bonus material here. Uh, there was a cigarette lighter on this side, and then this uh, cap slash hole here, and then there was nothing here. So I got this unit off eBay. Uh, it's uh, 5 volts and uh, two 5 volt USB ports. Uh, and then on this side, um, I can plug another uh, adapter in there if I need to run a GPS or if somebody has a non-Android phone or just doesn't have the USB. So, nice bonus. It worked out really well. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.